And folks, we made a lot of progress because of all of you. But there's more to do. So let's finish the job. President Joe Biden's campaign debut was met with a large outpour of support from his party. But there are a few Democrats on the Hill withholding an endorsement. Though liberals from most corners of the movement, ranging from progressives like Senator Bernie Sanders to moderates like Senator John Tester, are backing him. Biden has no major challengers for the nomination, but at least four members of Congress are withholding their support for the incumbent president. Here are the members of Congress refraining from backing a second Biden term publicly. Earlier this year, Senator Joe Manchin made waves when he appeared to keep the possibility of mounting a primary challenge against Biden on the table. Are you going to endorse Joe Biden if he runs for re-election? The bottom line is I will make my political decision in December, whatever it may be. To run for president? I'm not taking anything off the table, and I'm not, put, and I'm not putting anything on the table. Representative Dean Phillips revealed he was apprehensive about backing Biden in 2024, suggesting the president should pass the baton to the next generation. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has also so far declined to back Biden. If, if the president has a vision, then that's something certainly we're all willing to entertain and examine when the, when the time comes. Should he run again? I think that I, you know, I think it's, it's, we'll take a look at it. <laughs> and another prominent progressive in the House, Representative Cory Bush, has not offered her endorsement either. Do you want to see Joe Biden run for a second term? She's going to go. Yeah, I, you know. Uh, that's an easy question. That's not going to take long. Do you want to see Joe I, Biden I don't want to answer that question because we have not, that's not, yeah, I don't want to answer that question. Despite the holdouts, though, Biden has racked up backing from all across the party. And none of his challengers appear to have garnered significant support from Democrats in Congress. And I can honestly say as I stand here today, I've never been more optimistic about America's future. We're on the cusp of major change.